Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big at you with another video, man. New media notification, gang. God Squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out, man. IBF. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to one of my subscribers. He uh, actually left a comment in one of my community posts asking me that he wanted to hear my take on the Crawford Jerron Boots Ennis situation. Salute. Shout out to you. This video is dedicated to you. Like I told y'all plenty of times before, if y'all want me to talk about a particular subject, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or slide up in my um, comment sections on my community post and let me know if there's something particular that you want me to talk about. And if I do believe or deem that it is actually worth the time to speak about because it is a very big, important topic in the sport of boxing, you already know your boy DT3 going to cook. So, look, man, I'm going to keep it short, though, because, number one, we already know that the IBF played Terrence. And now y'all can call boxing politics all day long. But the IBF didn't do that to Errol Spence. The IBF ain't do that to Jamal Charlo. They ain't doing that to Jamel Charlo. They ain't doing that to Canelo. They ain't doing that to nobody else. But they're going to do it to Terrence. Terrence just won the belt. He just won the shit. And the IBF know or knew that he was contractually obligated to fight Errol Spence again. And now we haven't even figured out what the date is for a second Errol Spence Terrence Crawford fight. If at this point, if there's going to be a second. So you already knew that Terrence Crawford IBF was contractually obligated to fight Terrence, to fight Errol Spence. Y'all knew that going in that there was going to be a rematch. And y'all going to take the belt from him prior to him actually fulfilling his contractually obligation. IBF, you niggas is cat. Y'all cap for that. Because y'all ain't did that to no other motherfucker. Y'all didn't do that to Errol. <sniffs> when Errol was holding them shits. Didn't do that to him. Boots was up there when, when Errol had the strap. And y'all went, no, y'all didn't just say, I'm going to take that Errol and give it to Boots. Y'all didn't do that shit. Y'all did that shit to Terrence, though. Boxing politics. That's fake. That's fake. IBF, I thought we had... We had, in the boxing public, we had a lot more prestige and respect for y'all because we had the understanding that if you didn't fight your Mando and you was the IBF champ, the IBF gonna strip you. It wasn't like the WBO or the WBC where you can avoid your Mandos and fight other motherfuckers type shit. No, if you didn't fight your Mando and you was the IBF champ, world champ, nigga, they taking your shit. So what the fuck y'all do to Terrence for? Y'all already knew he had a contract. Y'all was like, well, well, Jerron was his man, though. He's contractively obligated to fight Errol Spence right now. That's 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 what the contract is for. Fight Errol. We got a rematch. Rematch clause after this fight. All right, cool. Fight Errol. Beat Errol. Now let's talk about the rematch. Let's get that out the way. That's what we own. That's what I'm contractually obligated to do is fight Arrow for Undisputed. I beat Arrow. Now I got to give Arrow his rematch to get his Undisputed belt back. You ain't even give me the chance to do that shit. I feel like Arrow should have an issue because you didn't even give, if I'm Arrow Spence, you didn't even give me a chance to get my shit back. I need my get back. That nigga beat the fuck out of me. I need, my, I need me some get back. IBF, get that nigga his shit back, bro. I need my shit back. But I don't think Arrow tripping. <clears throat> I don't think Arrow tripping. He, he ain't worried about it. Because he ain't, I, I ain't, I ain't hear him say shit. Because now if he fight Arrow Spence, it ain't for Undisputed. Not no more. He not defending his Undisputed championship. If anything, he'd be defending his Unified. But for the IBF, to take his belt from him on some bogus shit, and y'all know what his contract states, and y'all didn't even give him the opportunity. Now, I could see if Terrence wasn't trying to fulfill his contract of the obligations. I can understand that. I could give y'all some, I could give y'all some, I, I, I would back off of giving y'all smoke for that. But y'all didn't even allow him to fulfill what his contract obligated him to do first. Because he's supposed to be fighting Errol Spence or defending his undisputed title against Errol Spence. 
Y'all didn't even give Errol Spence the opportunity to fight for his belts back. That's where I have a problem. Y'all ain't even giving people the chance to get they uh, to get they lick back. Even if they ain't gonna get it, even if they probably couldn't, but to at least give a nigga the opportunity to try. You ain't give a nigga that. So I know that is bullshit. Number one, the nigga ain't even wasn't even undisputed champion for six months. He wasn't even undisputed champion for <clears throat> four months. He was barely undisputed champion for three, two, three months. And y'all taking shit from him. I have never seen that. With the con with the obligation through a contract that he still has to fulfill. And y'all just take shit. Like, nope. So what do these contracts really mean? Because if you could just, if I could already have an obligation via contract and you don't allow me to fulfill my obligations via contract, what the fuck are they for? Can't nobody sue nobody? Because, you know, that shit in black and white is real in America. When you got that shit written black and white or typed up, whatever the case, when it's black and white, that shit is real. I think a lawsuit should be had here. That's my personal thing. But IBF, you cap. The whole little bullshit about the IBF, giving the belt to Jerron, all that shit, that shit cap, bro. Jerron, you an email champ. You don't deserve the belt. I repeat, Jerron Boots Ennis, you don't deserve the belt. You haven't earned it. Same thing I said about Devin Haney when they emailed him the shit. He didn't earn it. He didn't deserve that shit. He deserves it now because of the work he's put in to show that he deserved that. But at this point, Boots, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to be a world champion. You didn't earn it. You didn't work for it. Well, yes, he did. He fought this. He got this many fights. And he Who did he beat for the belt? Who did he fight for the belt? That not, not, not meaning it, that person had to be a champion. Just him actually fighting for the belt. Who did he fight for the belt? Did he fight for the belt or did he just or they did they just give it to him? Say, here, you the champ. Here, there you go. That's not how it's supposed to work in combat sports. Combat sports, everything you get, you bleed for it. You you blood, sweat, and tears. Meaning you had to get in there with somebody, you had to bleed a little bit. You had to sweat a little bit to get that. Now, I don't want to hear about what you do in the gym. No, you got to literally get in there, fight a motherfucker, bleed, sweat, cry a little bit, whatever the case may be. You got to put some shit on the line to get this scrap. Jerron, you didn't do that. They just gave it to you. You an email champ. Terrence Crawford should still be undisputed welterweight champion of the world until he is able to fight Errol Spence. And if he loses to Errol Spence or if he beats Errol Spence and then vacates, whatever the case may be. But he is he's owed that right to be able to at least defend his undisputed status at the division. And he was not allowed to do that because the IBF wanted to play bitch politics in the sport of boxing. It's cap. Boxing is dead. That's how I feel about that. Because nowhere else has this happened many a times you've seen people duck people not fight people you have never seen that except with terrence boxing is dead one